Ex-Google chief warns that I might replace people in sexual and love. Why would one need another being? Former Google executive Mo Govdit issued a dire warning that the development of artificial intelligence might very significantly redesign love and relationships. On a recent edition of the podcast, Impact Theory with Tom Bilyeu, the former chief commercial officer of Google X made an appearance and talked with Tom Bilyeu about the potential effects of AI that simulates sex and relationships. Just think about all of the illusions that we're now unable to decipher illusion from truth, right? Sex happens in the brain at the end of the day. I mean, the physical side of it is not that difficult to simulate, okay? Govdit said. But if we can convince you that this sex robot is alive or that sex experience in a virtual reality headset or an augmented reality headset is real, then there you go, Govdit continued. He then suggested of the future, go a few years further and think of Neuralink and other ways of connecting directly to your, ah, uh, nervous system, and why would you need another being in the first place? Govdit continued by saying that as long as an AI can persuade the user that it is a genuine experience, whether it is genuinely sentient and self-aware is completely irrelevant. Is it a big debate whether they are sentient or not? Govdit claimed that the development of artificial intelligence may result in an inevitable transformation for society after pointing out that kids are early adopters of new technologies and may communicate with AI programs as if they were a buddy they text on Snapchat. Let's just say this is a very significant redesign of society, it's a very significant redesign of love and relationships, and because there is money in it, what would prevent the next dating app from giving you avatars to date?" he asked. Govdit exhibited skepticism when asked about the occurrence of deaths of despair in contemporary culture and whether AI companionship will eventually be beneficial or detrimental for mankind. It's just eerie, I don't know if it's better or worse, he replied. Govdit added that the current reality in the short term is that AI is not good for humanity so far, so if you extrapolate that chart it's going to be worse for humanity. Long term? I don't know. Maybe those robots will be much nicer than a girlfriend. I don't know. On his website, Govdit stated that he has received recognition for early whistleblowing on AIs and regulated development and has become one of the most globally consulted experts on the topic. Govdit previously authored a book titled, Scary Smart, the future of artificial intelligence and how you can save our world.